Rosalind Peterson is an environmental impact analyst and founder of California Skywatch. Today, Rosalind is a leader in the fight to expose the true nature of the chemicals being sprayed in our skies. She has compiled extensive data documenting the ongoing geoengineering and weather modification programs contaminating our skies, water, and food supply. My name is Rosalind Peterson, and I was born and raised in Mendocino County in California. I was on a working farm in Mendocino County and uh, grew up on a working farm. So I have a background in agriculture. I could drive a cat tractor. I could do the irrigation systems. I decided to take environmental studies and planning course at Sonoma State University where I got my degrees. After some training, I became an agriculture crop loss adjuster which meant that if there were any crops that failed in California for any reason, crop loss adjusters were sent by the state of California to go investigate where these crop losses were and why there were crop losses throughout the state. So I was traveling about 50,000 miles a year in this process from county to county, assessing what kind of crops, uh, what kind of damage they had, and looking into the reasons for the failure itself and how much value the crop was that, that was lost at that particular time. And then if there was a crop loss that was legitimate, then ranchers or farmers could be paid crop insurance uh, for the loss of their crops. In 98, I began to notice just a little bit of tree decline on the property here. I began to notice that some trees didn't look as healthy, and I, and I started to worry about that just in the background as something that was nagging because I was concerned about losing the beautiful trees we have around here. Then in early 2000, I began to notice that I would see jets, and they would leave these little tiny trails, and then the sky would white out after that. And I was always irritated because our skies used to be so crystal clear and blue and gorgeous. And all of a sudden, you would see these jets, and I kind of thought of them almost as joyriding, and when they were, or skywriting, and when they did this, then the sky would haze over. And so I found myself, when I was teaching tennis and being outdoors all the time, or uh, traveling uh, for work, that I was irritated a little bit about the idea that the skies were hazed over a lot. So that was the first inkling. And then in 2002, um, I was working for the Mendocino County Probation Department. I was on a lunch break and a friend of mine stopped me and dragged me into his office and said, what do you know about this? And I said, nothing. And so he said, well, he said, look, he said, I want you to know that that something is strange is happening here, and I'm really concerned about it. My brother, um, who's in the military, is concerned about this and has called me a couple of times to say he was concerned that there was something here that was going on that was not quite right. Our children, who we owe our lives to, all of us, especially those who have made the decision to have children, we don't own our lives. We owe them to our children and to all the children of the once thriving, now dying planet Earth. So how's the global economy doing? I've talked about this in previous shows, most shows. For those that are still blindly fixed on the global economic facade, forget about it and move on to something that matters. The notion of endless global economic expansion was always a complete delusion. And it's not collapsing in some sort of cyclical fashion at this time, it's collapsing in a manner from which it will not return. We are 